In our morning rounds, Tough Mudder 2015. It's a 10 to 12 mile challenge considered to be the world's largest event of its kind. It includes more than 20 different obstacles like ice pools and electric shocks. Well, today the company is announcing all new obstacles for 2015. Will Dean is the founder and CEO of Tough Mudder and he joins us at the table. Good morning. Morning, thank you for having me. So where'd the name Tough Mudder come from? So the idea of Tough Mudder goes right back to my Harvard Business School dorm room. And I was struggling to come up with a name for this obstacle challenge. And I was in a bar in Cambridge with a few of my friends. And I was throwing out a bunch of names. And they were telling me how terrible the names were. And then I had a eureka moment. And I said, Tough Mudder. And everyone kind of nodded and said, that's the name that's for us. And we all had a beer over that. So that's how it came to us. Very well. Describe the challenge. You say it's not a race. There's no time. Yeah. It's a challenge. That's exactly right. The first thing to talk about is the fact it isn't a race. It's about getting through it together. 95% of people that do our event do it as part of a team. So you don't need to be a super athlete to do it. You just need the help of your team to get through. And it's a lot of fun. 12 miles, military-style obstacles. As you said, we've had obstacles in the past that involve ice, electric shocks. We're adding 20 new obstacles this yeah. year, a completely new catalogue of obstacles, include leaping through rings of fire, running through chambers of tear gas, and uh, swinging on tars and ropes and having to hit bells in the middle of the air before and plunging into water. And you can get insurance for these types of, for putting on these races? Well, you know, <laughs> one of the most amazing things about a Tough Mudder is the most dangerous part of doing a Tough Mudder is the drive to the Tough Mudder. We are over 20 <laughs> times safer than a triathlon, yeah. and that is statistically proven. So we're actually very proud of our safety record. And the important thing here is teaching you teamwork. That's right. So it's about getting through together. And I did a triathlon a few years ago, and uh, I wasn't at the front of the field, but uh, the zipper jammed on my wetsuit as I came out of the swim. And I turned to the guy next to me and I said, you just pull on this. And he said, no. And I said, there's something <laughs> fundamentally wrong about what this creates. So I want to create. He said, so long, sucker. I'm trying to win. I know. Yeah. <laughs> he said, you're on your own. But I'm thinking it was a well, lot like Harvard Business School, wasn't it? It was a little. You know, it's probably a bit of a reaction to the competitive nature of uh, the business school. I'm yeah. thinking, well, you and I have very different ideas of fun. Because none of my fun involves electric shocks or going through a tunnel that will make me cry. But I want to talk about the ring of know. fire. You never know. Maybe I'm missing something. But I love this. Because I'm curious about where your ideas come from. Your yeah thinking because you said ring of fire remember your childhood dream of sliding down a fire pole mm -hmm. I never had that dream <laughs> okay well then that's maybe something we don't have in common but I think a lot of people <laughs> oh there are many things enjoy enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the so, part yeah uh, so I want, look, I want, at the, look at the fire pole yeah, yeah I want to get your thinking seriously yeah, about sure. the ideas and what you're trying to create for Absolutely. the people seriously so I think the first thing to say is tough mother is supposed to be fun the fun uh -huh. part is the build up excitement there's definitely some intimidation before you do yes. the obstacle yes. but then once you've done it there's the opportunity to be part of something bigger than yourself you know when I go running in the park and I see someone else in a Tough Mudder shirt or a Tough Mudder headband and they high five me whether I'm in London whether I'm yeah. in Berlin whether I'm here in New York you know that's that, that's a nice feeling that means you're part of something bigger than yourself mm -hmm. and this obstacle it is scary you know you go 35 feet up you go through this ring of propane it's pretty yeah. hot mm -hmm. and you drop into this pool of water beneath you but it creates this awesome experience yeah. and this is the thing that men who and women who've been in combat tell me the most important thing is is caring for those you're fighting with that is the central yeah. quality it's more of that than it is Absolutely. the mission it's more of that than the flag it's the people you're engaged with that's exactly right my background is as a uk counterterrorism officer and a huge part of the inspiration was to try and take some of what you see in the military the sense of esprit de corps and we're trying to pack some of that into a half day experience for people and mm -hmm. the reason that people keep coming back and doing the event over and over again is because everyone is in it together and everyone's helping their fellow mother and you're part of something bigger than yourself and, and that's something I'm very proud of. The I was fascinated you said you're not super athletes that's what threw me because I yeah. figured everybody had to be at least in good shape yeah. and have athletic ability. Yeah, so you definitely have to have done a little bit of training but uh, you know the two million people have done our event and at yeah. best five to ten percent of people are in exceptional shape. Most of the people that do our event are people that work out once or twice a week and the reason they can get through it is because they have mental grit. Tough Mudder is as much a test of bravery as it is anything physical. So yes, it's 12 miles. Yes, it's tough. But if you have a team, they'll get you through. Yeah, he said, and you can have a team with as little as three people, he said. That's right, yes. 95% of people do it as well. One, part of two, team. we need somebody else on come the Come and do it. I'll run it with you. Come, come do it. First event is in March. We have 60 this year. And you've done 14. Oh, I have, yes. Where, is, where is it? So the first event is in Florida, but we have 60 across the states this year. So there's one pretty much near every major city in the United States this year. Thanks, Will. Go, Will. Thank you for having you me. Think you are a tough mother. I get Thank it. Thank you. <laughs>